Hello, welcome to Animationish. Animationish is a way for anyone to become an animator in a matter of seconds. So let's dive right in. First, go to fablevisiongames.com. That's where Animationish lives. Click Login. If you have a teacher account, you'll enter your username and password. You'll do this on the right side. If you have a student account, you'll need your account code from your teacher and your username and password. This will go on the left side. Don't worry, once you enter your account code the first time, the website should remember for future logins. Now you can go to your games and play Animationish. You'll see these big buttons for the different levels. Let's start with the first level, Wiggle Doodleish. This level gives you instructions. Make a doodle. Let's write a word or our names. You can pick a color and a brush size and get doodling. Now the next button is lit up. Let's click it. The instructions have changed. It says to trace it. I'll pick a new color. Notice I can see a light version of what I drew in the last frame. That's called the onion skin, and I can turn it on and off up here with the trace button. You don't have to trace perfectly. In fact, you don't want to. The little differences will make your name wiggle. Click next again, and it says trace again, then play. Are we ready? Play. Look at it wiggle. That was three frames that we made, one at a time, then it played those three frames over and over in a loop. You can have a lot of fun with just three frames, but what if we want more frames to make a longer animation? Let's head to Flipbookish. Now we can see the timeline at the bottom, and we can use more frames for our animation. You can see my original frames here, and I can also duplicate instead of redrawing each time. Remember, I want there to be just a small change between each frame. So if I want an action to take place, I should do it a little at a time with a different frame for each change. Here are some fun tools to play with. Use the Select tool to rotate, stretch, shrink, or move your marks. You can change the color of them too by choosing from the palette or double-clicking the palette for a few more options. Use the paint bucket to fill completely closed shapes. Use the eraser for making minor changes. For bigger changes, try selecting and deleting a mark, using undo, or deleting a frame. If you want to start all over with a new animation, just click New. The Group tool will turn several marks into one object to manipulate. The Shapes tool will let you stamp a shape onto the canvas. Copy and Paste will let you make multiple copies of a mark, and you can use keyboard shortcuts. More Colors gives you tons of options for colors, including the option to put in specific hex codes. One of my favorite tools is the Draw Behind tool. You can turn it on to color under previous marks. It makes for a whimsical look. You can also click and drag frames to change the order. When I'm finished for the time being, I can click Save and Name my animation. I can also click Share and download a GIF to send to a friend.
Let's go home. Here you'll find the project vault that has some fun starters for you. And if you click open my projects, you'll find all your saved animations to keep working on by double clicking. The final level is advanced dish. The main reason to use this level is if you want a background because there are two layers here. So you can create your animation on the foreground and then make a background that you edit separately. On the background layer, you can click the paint bucket and it will fill the whole frame. I can duplicate it just like in Flipbookish. Or if I don't want my background to change at all during my animation, I can add exposure, which means this exact frame will last for as long as I add the exposure. If you want to collaborate, you can share and export a working file to send to someone else with Animation-ish. They can import that file and add their own marks to it. You can import images too, to trace or pull color from with the eyedropper. If you want any tips or tricks while you're animating, you can click on the Lessons button on the homepage. Happy animating!